Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am a mum of four, soon to be five. Welcome back if you've been here before. I'm Rebecca and I am so pleased you decided to click on my video and watch this video which is my 24 week pregnancy update video. Every single week that I do an update I always seem to be in a little bit of shock and I say, oh, I can't believe I'm here. I literally cannot believe that I am 24 weeks pregnant because my pregnancy is flying by. I am so busy with my other children. Sometimes, can you believe it? I actually forget that I'm pregnant. I'm not forgetting so much anymore because this bump is getting proper bumpy now. I am in a really, really good mood. I've had a great week. I feel so much more positive about things now. I have had a scan. Now, it's not your normal um, routine scan, like 12 weeks and 20 weeks and whatever else we get offered. I've had a scan because if you have watched some of my previous videos, you would know that there is a possibility that this little baby may have Down syndrome. So we had been offered an amnio in my earlier time of my second trimester. I was not going to take it purely because of the risk of miscarriage. I worry about things anyway, and I worried that we may be the ones that had that miscarriage. We have been under the care of a specialist baby hospital as well, it's a fetal baby unit, and we had a scan there the other day to do with growth and everything looked pretty good. We went back a few days ago for a scan purely for the baby's heart. They wanted to do a much more in-depth look at the baby's heart and baby looks good. They said the little baby's heart looks perfectly fine structurally, it looks fine, it all seems to be working correctly, but as they said, they can't pick up everything, so there might be something when the baby's born that might not be, it might continue to be perfectly fine, so that is why I'm in such a good mood. I mean, that is absolutely fantastic news. I don't know if you can hear that, but that is actually my dog snoring. There she is. Daisy, are you snoring? So if you hear snoring all the way through this video, it is just the dog. What else has been happening this week? Well, it has been lovely weather out, so I have been wearing my beautiful maternity dresses and I am wearing one of them right now. It is a, you can't really see it, it is a shirt dress. Here is my bump. Can you see that? Look at that, what a bump. Getting really bumpy. Somebody actually said to me the other day, oh, you're having twins again. I thought, how do I take that? No, I'm not. There is just one in here and this pregnancy right now is actually on the same path as when I was pregnant with the twins. There's like three weeks difference in it. So I'm like three weeks further ahead than I would have been when I was pregnant with the twins. So very, very similar. Let's talk about food. I have not been craving anything this week apart from chocolate biscuits and the occasional cup of tea because you know I am allowed some tea I'm not allowed a lot but I can have a couple of teas a day the want for coffee has gone up don't know why I feel like I want a coffee more often and I keep saying to myself when I'm not pregnant anymore I'm gonna get myself a little coffee machine I really want to just drink coffee I don't I don't maybe it's just a craving I don't know but that is something that I want. <laughs> something that's really cute, which isn't really 24 week related, is I say to my little ones, oh, if you don't know, I am a mum of four. Have I really said that? I might have said that bit, but I haven't said the rest of it. If, you, if you're new here, I am a mum of four. I have a 17 year old, I have 
twins that are two and three quarters and I have a 17 month old toddler. Anyway, I say to them, what's in mummy's tummy? And they'll say it's a baby. And then I'll ask them if it's a boy or a girl. Now, Noah says boy, uh, Rosalie says girl and George, the 17 month old says baby. We have never found out with any of our children what the gender is and not going to this time either. Anyone else out there 24 weeks pregnant-ish around that time? Or do you remember being that far in? Because I feel like I'm getting big like quite quickly now. So I am also just gonna have a little look on my trusty app to see the size of the baby. Sometimes I like to keep it a surprise and do it with you guys. Right, so I've just had a look between the difference of this week and last week and it's 100 grams in weight difference. So that's actually quite a lot for a week for a really small person. Ear of corn. And baby is 30 centimeters long from head to tiny toes. This is what baby looks like I am feeling so much more movement now. I know I've said before that I don't really feel a lot because I've got a placenta that's at the front, but because it's so much bigger now and a lot stronger, I am feeling a lot more movement. Um, nighttime, the baby is really starting to get active, which is, is lovely because I've been so busy all day with the little children, I don't really notice it a lot. I mean, I do feel every now and again, but when I'm let down at night, baby seems to wake up and it's like, hey mummy, I'm here. And I'm just watching my stomach literally make the little movements. Next week, I have a midwife appointment. I have my 25 week checkup and I will get to hear its heartbeat, hopefully. Hopefully they'll do all of that. I think they measure me as well. I think it's then that they start measuring to see the size of my bump to see it's, if it's on point. It's literally a measurement from the top of the uterus, I believe, to the top of your pubic bone. Do a little measurement when you're led down. That tells them how many weeks my bump is measuring at. When I had the scan at the fetal baby unit, they said that the baby's actually measuring on the 50th centile. It's literally spot on. I am feeling the heat really feeling it especially because it's reaching like 27 degrees <laughs> which is totally unheard of for you know where i live in the uk well it's not completely unheard of but it's not regular but it is really really warm and if you have any tips on how to keep cool please put them in the comments below and i will read because I need to find a way to help me. We go out with the children in the garden and I go out in the morning because it's not so hot and then by midday the sun's beaten down so we don't go out then and then later on like after dinner we'll go out and the sun has kind of dipped away a bit but it's still so warm. I've been putting a tough tray out for the children to play with, with water in and whatnot. And obviously you've got paddling pools and things like that, but how can this mummy here cool down? That is something that I need to do because I'm not gonna sit there in my bra and pants in the back garden because nobody wants to see that. Anyway, no, I shouldn't be so hard on myself. I'm a pregnant woman, I can wear what I want. I should sit out in a bikini. Why haven't I not thought of that? Huh. I was going to talk about stretch marks as well because they do seem to appear on a lot of people about this time. So if you get stretch marks, please don't worry about it. It just means that your baby is growing inside you and your body is doing the very best job to protect and nurture and grow your precious baby or babies. And they're just there as a reminder that you are an amazing person because you are you can get them on your hips your stomach your legs your boobs they literally can just pop up anywhere most people have them on their stomach 
And then after your baby's been born, it doesn't take that long, but it, they start to fade slightly and then they'll just end up being like little silvery lines and you probably won't even notice them. So please don't worry too much if you get any stretch marks. Next week, I will be updating you guys on my midwife appointment and see what they say. Hopefully they don't want to take any blood because I am so rubbish with needles. I'm pretty squeamish. I am not particularly tired at all. Well, I haven't got that glow or bloom that they say that some women get in their second trimester, but, or have I? I don't know. Is it a physical thing or is it a mental thing? Mentally, I'm feeling good. I have been thinking about, do I get anything for the baby? because I had a battle with myself a little while ago about whether I buy anything for the baby or not and I bought a changing mat <laughs> that's literally as far as I've got at the moment I've been looking at prams pram wise so far we've got um a bugaboo donkey for the twins basically we got a bugaboo donkey for the twins and I've got a bugaboo fox for George and the twins will be three when this baby comes along, so I, I don't know whether to invest in another double push chair or to get one of those boards that you stand on. I mean, that's not necessarily something that I've bought for the baby, that's something that I've bought for one of the twins. But anyway, I, I need to figure out what I'm doing because I, I, watch, I watch other people's uh, vlogs and I look and I think, oh, they've got it all so together and baby's got a really nice nursery and it's got a really nice wardrobe and they've, they've done all of this, and they've done all that. Our baby's not having a nursery because I simply do not have the space for a, a separate bedroom for another child because there will be five children living here. And I have loads and loads of baby clothes out already. Well, not out, just baby clothes that we've bought they're just packed away nicely, so hopefully I can reuse them again. I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to just go down the road of buying some new things for the baby or not. Tell me, what do you think? What should I do? Do I indulge and buy things or do I not? And if you think I should buy something, just let me know what it is. What you think, am I missing a trick here? Am I missing something that I should be doing? I really can't think. My head is mostly fried. Most days, it doesn't work. I know that sounds really silly. I have proper baby brain, and that is a scientific fact. That is a thing. I waffle too much as well. I am completely aware of that. But if you did like my waffly video, I would love it if you would stick around and subscribe to my channel and then you can watch so many more of my waffly videos or my old waffly videos which you could watch if you want i hope you like this video as well and give it a great big thumbs up for me have a lovely week thank you for joining me and i will see you next week in my boudoir where we are every week for a pregnancy update i will see you then Take care, bye bye.